So I'm doing a uh, review on the Faraday Defense EMF bags that I just got yesterday. And uh, I have already had the Titan RF bag, uh, or I should say fabric. And so I'm going to test these with the meter on a cell phone. And um, I'll, in a separate video, I'll review the Titan made by Mission Darkness fabric. I already know what the results are going to be, but I want to document them using the actual meter. Faraday bags come in a pack. Um, they recommend nesting, which is what I already do anyway with my Faraday cages. Um, we're going to use the cell phone as an example today, and I've got a EMF390 uh, tester that we'll use, which should give some credibility to the test. I'll also do a call test, cell call test. Um, but let's look at the regular amount of radiation coming off the phone here. And it varies because the phone's not always sending out a consistent signal, but you can see here it's anywhere from three to 47-ish. And there's a 52. But generally, if you just hold it above the phone, you're only gonna get between probably six and 40. So we're gonna nest the phone, but first we're gonna try one bag. Go ahead. All right, so we're doing the cell. Dance flow silly. Yeah. The ladies go nice ringer, but anyway, the obviously the bag's not blocking. Number. I've got it inside a larger bag to nest with two bags now. Go ahead and call it. Dance flow silly. The ladies Still not blocking the signal. All right, now we're in three of these Faraday defense bags with the cell phone. And he's going to try and call it again. Are you calling it? Dance flow silly. Nope, there it the goes. Gonna so three bags, the it's still bag. getting the signal. Okay, so the iPhone failed. I should say the Faraday defense bags failed the cell call test. Now we're going to check the levels. Not real high, seven, which is the low end of what we saw before. So um, here's what you're looking at right here. And there's a little bit of a cycling as this phone probably sends out some kind of signal it's looking for, or whatever. Okay, now I've got the phone nested in two bags. And let's just run it over here and see what kind of signal we get, or I should say radiation. So that's a little better. Probably there was a peak of about four. 4.7. So it is doing something. Okay, so now we've got the phone nested in three Faraday Defense EMF Solutions bags. Let's see what it registers. There's a three. Nine, eleven. So, so the phone's probably putting out, um, sending a signal. I would guess maybe checking email or whatever. But when it's idle, you can see it's not getting much above two-ish. So that's the result. Um, it looks like the bags don't block the signal in, but they reduced the radiation from the phone out. And that's not really what I'm looking for. I'm not looking to protect myself from radio waves. I'm looking to protect the phone from signals and waves that are coming from the outside. So next I'm gonna test the uh, Mission Darkness uh, Faraday fabric, which I already know will pass the cell test.